The Felco fuel and service trailer is developed to be the heart of a contracting team because of its unprecedented focus on convenience, utility and safety in diesel fuel servicing. As you prepare to use this unit, we must understand the intended uses and all operational interfaces of the unit. And that's the purpose of this video and your investment of time. Please focus for the next few minutes. We'll break this video into three sections. Pre-start, operation and park up. Firstly, the pre-start procedure. Before accepting the unit, take a walk around inspection and be sure the unit is ready for work. If the last user has done their park up procedure as demonstrated here, your mission will be off to a great start. During the walk around, your eyes will be actively looking for anything that could literally ruin your day. Be looking for any wear and tear or damage, such as dents, cracks, loose bolts, or lost ancillaries. The park brake will be set, toolbox accessible, and spare tyre inflated. The filler cap should not show any signs that has been tampered with, and the fire extinguisher is indicating fully charged. Wheel chocks are in place, and wheel lock indicators are as seen here. Next, the diesel drain valve should be cracked open and a sample drained into a white container for a visual fuel contamination check. No sediment, dirt or water bubbles should be evident in the bottom of that container. Visually inspect the plumbing between the tanks and the equipment. Look for leaks or weeps from splits or cracks. Next, visually inspect beacons and work lights. And clean the solar panel so it keeps the unit's auxiliary battery fully charged. All tail, brake and indicator lights and reflectors must be cleaned and operational before on-road use. Now around to the offside. Again check wheel chocks and wheel lock indicators. Look over the plumbing between the tanks and the service cabinets again. Step up onto the operator's filling platform, but always with three points of contact. Visually inspect the tank top relief valves and filler points for any sign of tampering or damage. Dip the tank for available fuel. Again visually inspect the AdBlue tank filler and check that the spare tyre is securely attached to its mounting point. An underbody inspection will reveal any weeps or leaks from loose fittings. Check that all the compliance documents are in the blue plastic waterproof storage box and that there is a wheel wrench in the front aluminium toolbox. Inspect the breakaway coupling, that it is undamaged and that it will deploy in the unlikely event of a hitch failure emergency. You are now ready to hook up, fill up the diesel and add blue tanks and get your mission underway. So once to site, the operational procedure will be to open the equipment cabinet at the rear. Two cabinet locks will need to be unlocked and note that the lid opens upwards. Turn on the rotary switch that is the main supply and reset and check the emergency stop. Twist and turn to reset but push in an emergency to stop everything but the amber flashing light on top of the cabinet. This will flash at any time that the mains switch is on. Check that the lever valve from the diesel tank is open. Unmount the two hand pieces and unreel the hoses to the fill points on the machine. To start pumping, set the hand pieces to the automatically locked open to fill setting and then switch on the pumps. The diesel pump switch is on the on side of the pump at the very rear. The AdBlue pump is above that with the white switch facing you near the top of the AdBlue pump. Once the tank fills and the handpiece automatically cuts off, turn off the electric switch on the pump immediately. It is important not to just let the pumps run dry. There are AdBlue and diesel filters that must be replaced at service intervals. There is also a Donaldson dust filter that must be checked daily and serviced as required. The electrical panel on the onside wall has a number of operator interfaces and controls. Let's look at these. The LED display is the indicator of solar charge rate, current draw and battery charge level, all in real time. Below that is a series of resettable circuit breakers. Press the red button to test these and reset them using the yellow lever that pops out on reset. Further rearward is the mains charger to charge the battery if the unit is stored for longer periods under cover. Just below that is the fuses for the cabinet and outside work lights. And below that is two switches, one for the LED work light inside the cabinet and the other, the outside ground lights, installed for your safety during night operations.
The battery and operator manuals are below that. The floor of the cabinet is bunded to catch any leaks or spills, but it's wise to keep the bun clean to avoid build-up of diesel and dust. Once fueling operations are complete, carefully rewind the hoses and stow the handpieces. Turn off the main switch and close and lock the service cabinet. At this point there should be no flashing lights on the outside of the cabinet. If there is, you have not isolated the electrical circuits and the battery could drain. And that is the operation workflow. Once your mission is complete, return the unit to its designated parking spot, preferably in partial shade, and set the brake and unhitch the trailer. Complete a walk around and note any damage, wear and tear, lost items or leaks and weeps. Report any issues to your supervisor so they can be repaired before the unit is needed again. It might be you that has to take it out the next time. If you suspect you may have picked up a dirty load of fuel or add blue, drain a sample into a white container and check for dirt or water contamination. If you see either, report it to your supervisor so that the remedial action can be taken immediately and before it's needed for the next mission. Dirty fuel has a very costly outcome and one that we do not want. And that is the restart, operational and park up procedure that will see the Felco diesel trailer fulfil its destiny of many decades of service to you, your employer and the taxpayers and other stakeholders that have purchased this unit for your use and convenience. Happy fueling.